When Sarah Catherine was younger, she told her parents she was going to be a dog until they got her one as a pet. <laughs> when I take her to the doctor's office, she would bark. My sister's friend had a little brother, a little brother my age, and he said he told his aunt she's weird. She barks. She was on the back of the couch howling <laughs> out the bay window. So when Alice Eloise came into her life, it was instant puppy love. She is as silly as they come, as loving as they come, and it, as soon as I met her, it just, it felt so right. This double doodle is more than just Sarah Catherine's BFF. She's her service dog. A double doodle it is a puppy who has one parent who's a golden doodle, and the other parent is a labradoodle and they were initially bred for service work. Sarah Catherine's journey to this silly service dog, as she calls her, began when she was 12 years old. A simple ankle sprain turned into a rare diagnosis. Reflex sympathetic dystrophy, also called chronic regional pain syndrome. In the years to follow, several other symptoms began, so she traveled the U.S. seeing doctors. The talk of like an ulcer at first, and then it's not that. Lyme disease. I was diagnosed with very severe digestive tract paralysis. Cellulitis. I became, lost a lot of use of my right arm. A doctor finally landed on HLH. Something called hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis, which is a mouthful. <laughs> it's also called HLH and it's very rare. It's typically found in little, little kids, babies even. I was 19 at the time. After she lost function in her left arm, she decided a service dog like Alice Eloise might not be what the doctor ordered, but it's exactly what she needed. Puppy love is the most healing medicine there is. It really is. Early on in her illness, Sarah Catherine says she made a decision. I decided that I would rather be happy than sad. Super, super groundbreaking, I know. But it got me thinking that you know, you can't help the things that happen to you, but you can do your best to how you react to them. She even wrote a children's book about that idea, Alice Eloise Silver Linings, the story of a silly service dog. I didn't want this to just be a book about a service dog. I had to let that shine through, let her just genuine, beautiful, bright, silly personality shine through. In the book, Alice Eloise looks for the positive or silver linings in each situation as she overcomes challenges learning to be a service dog. Sometimes it's really, really small. Some days it might not be anything big, but still noticing those little things can make such a difference. And just to not give up because you'll really can miss out on some of those bright, beautiful silver linings if you do. We read the book to kindergarten, first and second grade at St. Mary's School. And a lot of them were unfamiliar with service dogs and, and so they learned about how they can help and also what to do when they encounter them. We've donated to my hematology clinic. I'm still in pediatric care. And to, you know, hand out books and plushies to kids going through cancer treatment, that's incredible just to, to see it impact other people whenever they're going through a hard time, especially. The book's message is simple. There's always a reason to smile, but sometimes you might have to look for those silver linings. Just because you're going through a difficult time doesn't mean that there isn't something good coming very soon or even right now. Service dog Alice Eloise will always be Sarah Catherine's silver lining and now these two besties hope their new book will do the same for readers. I had really big dreams. I wanted to be a vet. I wanted to be a missionary. I wanted to go to Africa, rehabilitate lions. And none of those turned out the way I thought. But I also have some really beautiful things that I'm very thankful for. If these things hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have Alice Eloise. I, I wouldn't be sharing this message with people. So. Whenever people look at our journey, that's what I want them to see, that sometimes life doesn't go as we planned, but if you set out to see the beauty in it, you will find it. You can find her book at aliceeloise.com. It's also on Amazon.